Welcome to Back for App Containers, the series that you show you how to create the Docker files to host your application. It doesn't matter the technology in Back for App Containers. Today, we will be creating and hosting a React application in Back for App Containers. And as some of you may have noticed, it, I don't have my camera on today because my camera went through technical difficulties and we'll be publishing a few videos without it. So here I am at my console. We are going to create an example React application. And I created this first container folder. And in here, we are going to create our first app and then make its build. So we'll start by typing create React app and then giving it a good name. I'm going to call this back for app. This will take a little while as it will download and create everything for me. Now, this has created a developed focused application and it's not really focused for production. We have to build it in order to make it to production. So we're going to enter this back for app subdirectory it created, so cd back for app. And in here we have the instruction in order to build an, a, dev, a production environment application. So npm run build. Now, if you need instructions on how to proceed, you have this link over here. It will take you to a website with the exact same steps I'm going to show you. But right now we are interested in a build folder it created in our subdirectory. See, here I have my backwrap directory and in here I have a build folder. I'm going to upload this build folder to my GitHub. As you can see, I have just dragged and dropped it to my GitHub and uploaded it to here. So if I expand this, you see it has a full uh, subdirectory called static with its static files and all the codes and icons in here. And we are going to deploy this in our Docker container by writing our Docker file. So here we have our Docker file. I'm going to use the node image in order to deploy this. And we're going to create from node and use the latest version and run mkdir so that we can create a new directory called root slash app. We're going to set this as our working directory by using work there slash root slash app and then copy all the files to inside that folder. So copy dot, this will copy everything in the uh, root folder of my GitHub to slash root slash app. Then we are going to use a npm module called serve in order to serve these files. We have to install it as a global. So we're going to run a command called npm install minus g so it runs globally and serve. In this we'll try to serve the uh, application in port 3000 by default. So we're going to expose port 3000. And last but not least, we have to start running the application. So CMD, so we can run a command, serve minus s build, which is the name of the folder that we have here on the first container. There we go, build. So after this runs, it will automatically initiate a deployment here in Backfire because I created this application with auto deploy. And once this finishes building my container, it will host my application. And all I have to do is to click this green link here. And there you go. You're hosting your React application in Backfrap very, very easily producing a very simple Docker file. But now if you have your own and React application, you have to try to focus on how to create the folder structure so it runs correctly. And remember, we are always here to help. So if you find any issues trying to de uh, deploy your React application to backfrap containers, get in touch with our support team, they will assist you. So if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you are subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave it on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful for you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.